Hi guys, so for today's video, I'm bringing you guys an updated brow routine. This has been pretty highly requested, so your wish is my command. My last brow tutorial, I believe I filmed two years ago, and it was showing you guys that I use a glue stick to give me like that fluffy look. I'm still using this, so I'll try to answer and be as clear with this as possible because I did get some questions in that tutorial. But I still use this, but everything else I kind of just simplified it and that's pretty much all that's changed. So if you want to see how I take my brows from this to this, then let's just get right into it. I'm going to say this from the jump. With this technique, you honestly have, like, you have to do your brows before foundation just because you're going to have to like wipe around and I'm telling you this now, if you do brows after foundation, it's going to be a hot mess. So usually what I like to do is to take a, usually I'll take like a wipe or maybe like a cotton pad with some micellar water and just kind of like clean off my brows because that does have an effect on how the glue will lay. So you want to start off with clean brows. And then I'm going to take the Elmer's glue stick. I use the disappearing purple. It looks dark as purple like this, but trust me, it disappears into your brows. You're going to be Gucci. It's okay. And the key to this is just not using too much. Once you use a lot, you'll see that the brow, not the brow, the glue will start to roll. So what I like to do is basically give it like one big swipe. And then I take my spoolie. I am very picky with my spoolie. I need something very sturdy because you need something to comb through that glue. I'm using this one by ColourPop. Um, look at this. It's been through it. I had to kind of like tape it because it broke. But you basically just want to start combing upward. Like this. And then I always keep something to clean my brow off with handy because you'll see sometimes you'll get the little white balls. And it's okay. You just honestly clean it off you can go over your brow with the wipe or with whatever you're using to clean and it's not going to ruin it you can go back in with glue and just kind of like add as you go i always just suggest adding as you go and not starting off with a lot because then it'll it's gonna ball up so bad it's gonna make you so frustrated but that's basically all you're doing just like laying the brow down and then sticking your hair up and then I like to take the spoolie and just kind of like I honestly don't know how to describe this but kind of like shaping them giving them that shape from the top and you see how my spoolie has the glue on it so whenever you see that you just want to take that glue off because it once you go back into your brow it'll stick onto your brow so you just want to make sure to clean that off if you're gonna go back with it but yeah and then I like to fix the edges and that's pretty much it for the glue so a key step is to actually clean the excess off so naturally you're going to have glue residue like around under just make sure to really 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 do a good job of cleaning that off because you'll think oh i cleaned it off i'm good but once you lay that concealer down you'll be able to see where you put that glue down so just make sure to clean it off really really well and if you have any glue balls it's okay <laughs> just with the wipe or whatever you use to clean up just kind of like run it through the brow. It's okay, it's not gonna take the glue off. I'm telling you, this glue is sturdy. It's not gonna move until you, you intentionally want it to move. Once that's down, my brows look like this. And in my last tutorial, I went in with dip brow, but I just feel like that's a lot of work. What I've been using recently, or honestly for the past year, have been brow pencils. And I don't really have a preference toward brow pencils. I don't like them to be too creamy though. So super creamy eye pencils, I just feel like they're too 
I don't like those. The one that I've been using recently is the Morphe Micro Brow Pencil. I prefer something that's a little bit more skinny like this because it'll kind of like be easier to fill in those hair like strokes. So I really like this one. The ColourPop pencil, I ran out of this one. So I really like this one. So basically what I like about this technique is that once you stick your hairs up, there's not that much filling to do. It makes it a lot more simpler. So you honestly just want to follow what you already have. And for me, it's this area that's the most sparse. So that's usually where I like to focus most of the product. And what I've learned so far with brows is you honestly don't need to fill them in too much because once I carve them out with concealer, the concealer makes it pop so much more. I honestly don't have to go too dark. So I'm holding the pencil like this just to give me the least amount of pressure and I'm literally just following my natural hairs the way they're the direction they grow in and just hair like strokes you know like that and then up here this bottom area for me is a little sparse so i like to fill that in as well And it's okay if you're a little messy, if you feel like you went too low. That's what the concealer is for. Honestly, on days where I'm in a rush, I literally just stick my brows up and like scribble my freaking brows in. And then that concealer is what... I feel like the concealer is that boom. Like I'm using the Fenty Beauty Concealer. You can use anything you want. This is just what I have, what's on my vanity right now. I'm using the shade 210. This matches my skin tone. Um, depending on what look I'm doing, maybe I'll do something a little lighter. This one matches my skin tone because I'm not doing anything too dramatic. More of like a natural look. And I just kind of like add a little bit of concealer under the brow. And I'm going to get as close as possible. And then I just carve underneath and you're literally just following that line that you already made once you've kind of made like one solid line all across the brow you kind of like want to drag it downward and then you want to take a brush and just kind of blend it out um you can use a fluffy like synthetic brush that'll give you a softer blend this is what i have on hand now this is a juno and co brush it's just a little stiff a little dense but i just use it to kind of like blend that color into my skin and then this area right here i kind of like blend it upward and you see, it gave my brows so much more dimension without me having to fill in a lot. But as you can see, once I've shaded it in, I still need to do a little bit more right here. So that's why I say you always start with baby steps and then you'll know where to go from there. So now I know to fill in a little bit more over here, which is naturally my sparse area. So there maybe a little bit up here um and i don't carve out the top because since i already with my spoolie carved out that shape i don't want to do too much and to make the front a little bit ugh, a little bit less harsh i go in with this essence brow gel this isn't going to be good for hold i just like that it separates the hair take it on the front of my brow like this and you see how much more of a fluffier look that gave me like my brows actually were born this way and then while it's still a little wet from that gel i like to go in with a little bit of the glue stick and just lay those hairs so they go upward And then, like always, just clean it up with a wipe because you're going to go in with foundation or any makeup and you don't want it to stick to that area. 
but that's pretty much it key takeaways there is a learning curve with using a glue stick my biggest thing that i want you to ingrain in the back of your head is a little goes a long way so don't go glue glue happy don't go glue crazy um i always say start off with like one or two swipes and kind of like comb through there another thing would be like don't be afraid to like really comb that glue out and you want to make sure to have a spoolie that's very sturdy that's why i'm very picky with my spoolies i don't like anything too soft because it's not going to comb through the brows another question that i got was does this make your hair fall out it doesn't i've been doing this technique for two years and my brows are perfectly fine I haven't seen that it stops my brows from growing, so if you're scared of that, don't be. Practice it often, and I feel like you'll get the hang of what you like. This is just personally how I like to do my brows. This brow style is not everyone's cup of tea. I feel like this was a lot of information, but I hope it helps. If you have any other questions, because I probably forgot something, just leave it down below. I'm always answering your comments. I'm always seeing, you know, I'm always interacting with you guys because that's what I'm here for. Either on here or on Instagram, follow me on there. I hope you guys are staying safe during this quarantine period. Just practice your social distancing and I don't want to go too deep into this because you already know what it is. Just stay home. I feel like the news outlets are filled with information on this. I feel like everyone's talking about it so I want my channel to be kind of like a safe space to get your mind away from that and just putting this out there just so it won't seem like she's ignoring the fact that there's something going on in the world I feel like everybody knows there's something going on sis as always thank you thank you thank you thank you so much for watching and i hope to see you in my next one bye guys